we're alive. Yahweh Belly TV is live. Live in the kitchen or live mm -hmm. in the living room? <laughs> hmm? Live on the sofa. Hmm? Live with more gopher. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. So, so this is what it is, guys. We are. We are live, yes, we are live. We're here because we're here. Having a good afternoon and um, yeah, loving every single person at the same time. So, big up yourself. What's for dinner? <laughs> Joshua, really? <laughs> so, we went to Food Town, Josh. Raquel Wilson, good evening to you, Raquel. Raquel. Oh, big up yourself. Big welcome, up yourself. welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, we got, oh, bam, 13 people just came up like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big up on yourself. All 13 of you guys, you know, for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Big up on yourself. And we are live, yes. <laughs> Joshua, will you get off our live with the food <laughs> argument? This is not food time. <laughs> All right, get off our live. Long time, Raquel, long time, but we're here. Uh, and um, we have something to talk about. We have some stuff to talk about, you know. Um, so what we have been planning, one of our plans for the new year, new season, Richard J, blessings to you. Thank you so much for joining us. One of our plans for the new season is to have more conversations, you know, family-driven conversations, family-oriented conversations. Prayer kid, big up yourself here, sir. Prayer kid, you need to stick around for this one, you know. Especially because you have a, 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 a well-knit home. You understand? Your home is well-knit. Your family is together and well-lit, you know, and stuff and stuff. We want to talk about, you know, removing negative energies from the home, um, from your space. And in recent times, good afternoon to you, sunshine. sunshine Thank you so much for joining us. You know, this morning when we wake up, me and the wifey, I don't know how that conversation started, baby. It was... A reel, I believe. We saw a reel talking about it was it was a, a reel that you saw yeah, project. something on um Instagram that you saw that, right. that was addressing. So in recent times I don't know if you have seen, you know, people um on, on social media putting out a whole lot of energy, you know, in when trying to remove negative energy. Right. You know, Naomi Donaldson, blessings to you. Naomi. Bless respect, respect. A lot of people, including people who are Christians, been been doing things, you know, activities that they are saying, you know, we're we're removing negative from our energy, uh, negative Cleans, energy. Yeah. We're cleansing, cleansing our space, space, and we're doing all these things, you know. So the practices is is like people putting in crystals, getting crystal rocks, um, putting them in their home, um, people burning incense or, or sage or whatever it is, these, these things mm -hmm. in their home. And I thought to myself, you know, a lot of these practices may not, people may be doing them out of ignorance. I believe so, so yeah. You don't think? I think a lot of people are doing it out of either ignorance or just following a trend like because me. everything is becoming a trend now. And so if the, the, the practice of um, utilizing crystals is becoming common, people just jump head first into some of these things, not, not, you know, being knowledgeable, not being aware of what they're getting into or what they're doing. <laughs> Prayer kit saying don't try to remove the energy. energy, use it as fuel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy because um this is one other thing with the Bible says, and this this is not necessarily a a, a, a a religious conversation, but may I use the Bible because of my springboard that. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that the Bible says. You know, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. And I feel like a lot of people are doing things out of ignorance and falling into traps that are laid for them, you know. Um, Naomi, Naomi, Naomi asks about um, Naomi. cholesterol. <laughs> what was the question? Naomi, 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 really? well, Naomi, 
we would definitely will make note of that question and address it accordingly. Don't you know? Don't go no away. We will definitely answer that question, but on another video. Because if we get into that, that's a whole night conversation. conversation yeah. yeah. Sunshine said, "I think guys, um, some people sitting on social media and just jumping at it." Mm -hmm. Without asking any question, you know what exactly what she said. Okay, people see on social media and they want to do everything that they see um, on social media, right. basically. And okay, so, okay. So Naomi, what we've been talking about is we we want to have a conversation about the practices where where people are you know burning sage and putting crystal in them house and and crystal in a and i do and i do meditation and certain things you know because them said they want to remove bad energy from them home yeah. you know and and how we we basically want to provide you with as far as we know the few things that we know can remove um in a negative energies from your home mm -hmm. now as as prayer kid says all energy is necessary. There is you, you can't have good energy if you don't know what bad energy is. If it was only good energy, you wouldn't know the difference. If it was only bad energy, you wouldn't know the difference. So good and bad has to coexist in yeah. certain capacity. But one of the most important things that I want to make mention of is the fact that one of the essential aspects to human being. You understand? Is the fact that we have a choice. That's one of the most essential human traits that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. Choice. The mere fact that choice exists, mean good and evil, have to exist. If we do not have choice, then we don't have to have good and evil. Because you know, I'm not choice. But you have to have good and evil in order for choice to be exercised. You get the message? Right, right. If you not if you not have up or down, you can't decide. There's no decision, <laughs> you know. And so, the Bible, the Bible again, gives us a, a, a hint as to what God wants. If you believe in a God, the Bible says in the Bible, you know, the prophet said, "Choose this day who you are gonna serve. Mm -hmm. Whether you are gonna serve good or you are gonna serve evil." God Himself in the Word of God said, "Choose." Him so set you, before you. Can't, you. you can't serve both. Yeah. Right? So you have to make a decision. Who you gonna serve? So he said in the Bible, I set before you life and death. Mm -hmm. And him said, choose. Some people by virtue of ignorance. Some people by virtue of rebelliousness. Some people by virtue of stupidity. Them choose death mm -hmm. by their actions, by their practices. And this, this burning of incense and this, this cleansing of home thing where them come with is part and parcel with that. And I, I know my people. You know, my people love God. Them, the, the people that, that follow Yard Belly TV as, as much as possible, I, I, I believe we love God. And we want the best for our families. We want the best life that we possibly can have. And so instead of just jumping up and saying, I'm going to target and hit at some people, who are doing things that are not um, according to the standard, the biblical standard? I prefer just going straight at it and tell you what is according, what is the biblical standard. Naomi says, "I choose life. I don't believe in burning incense." Prayer kids say, "Make rain or fall and see what happens." Can I can have sunshine every day? That yeah. equal no growth. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you know. So first and foremost, we, we, we want to talk about space. We want to talk about space. According to the biblical thing and according to scientists, I can go metaphysical if, if, if that be the case. Mm -hmm. Our space is that place that our energies flow. Our energy. Anywhere that you expel the most energy is your space. Carlos Beeson, blessings to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, if you're enjoying this type of conversation and if you want to, you know, by way of support Yada Belly TV, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. We do appreciate every single thumbs up that we can get. Um, when you thumbs up our video, YouTube looks at it and say, oh, people like what is going on and they will show you more of our videos and more of when we go live. So it's, an, it's a form of optimization for the algorithm that runs the computer, the world, the, the, the matrix. <laughs> 
so please if you can give us a thumbs up if you're watching please give us a thumbs up we appreciate you guys and thank you so much so let's get into it so our space is that area that that place that our energies flow that we do most of our activities whether it is physical whether it's social whether it's emotional that's our space now we have preferred space and you have common space you have space where everybody is allowed and you have personal private space that only you in your intimate moments want to be in with your intimate people and intimate they're not just mean physical you know what i mean right. like around a room when we go do the thing <laughs> it means your private personal space is the intimate space now in the common space it's harder to regulate energies now we are living in a metaphysical world we are living in a world the bible call it spiritual and 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 carnal or or, or, or material fleshly so there's two planes of existence there's the one that you see which is the physical world and there's the one that you don't see which is the spiritual world now every single religious um grouping every every religion every type of people whether they're my eighties or what everybody believe in the duality of the space mm -hmm. every single one of them there's no question that there's two realms now if you look into comics for instance i'm a comic buff i'm a nerd where that is concerned and, and then talk about the multiverse you know different worlds and all of that the bible didn't talk about that long time mm -hmm. the bible talked about that long time you know, but the multiverse makes a suggestion that there's more than one world, more than one earth. And the Bible talk about a new earth and a new heaven and all of that. But them not take that, them not enough people don't want to hear from the Bible. They want to create their own fantasy like the Bible never tell you them thing in a long time. Anyway, so in these two spaces, energies flow. Um, the nuclear bomb was created through the splitting of an atom, atom, which is smaller than a cell. You know that, mm -hmm. right? And split one atom. Donna Lee Duncan, blessings to you. Bring up yourself, Donna. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. And so with the splitting of an atom, they created so much destruction that it could wipe out Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's energy. You understand? If you look through a microscope at our flesh, at the blood, all of these things, it carries, it resonates energy. Mm -hmm. So there is no question that there is energy or energetic realm. There's an energy, ener energy realm. There's a spiritual, the Bible call it, a spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And the Bible makes a determination. Uh, Daniel Reckley, thank you so much. Blessings to you. Big up yourself. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, Carlos says blessings to you and your wife. Thank you so blessings much. Blessings to you too, you know? Carlos. So, so there, there is no question that there are two realms. Whether you believe in the God of the Bible or you believe in the God of the Quran or you believe in a, whatever you believe in, a, you know, there's all of your scholars have mm -hmm. already concluded that there's two realms. There's the physical and there's the, 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 the spiritual. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the seen and the unseen, two realms. So in every space physically, there, is, there exists the duality of, 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 of the, un, the unseen. In the middle of this physical space, there is another en environment that we are not, you know, perceiving out of our eyes. I want to say this. A lot of the practices that are happening in the physical, even though it may have spiritual ramification, it still can um, determine. We can determine what ramifications these things may be. And so it, the, the, this is the good thing about the word of God. The word of God give us clues, procedures, indications, and directives as to how to approach the unseen realm. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do these things, the prerequisites that are given in the word of God is as though we want to enter into the, the spiritual realm through the back gate. <laughs> we want to illegally enter into this, this spiritual yeah. you see me some people want to bypass the rules and get in at the game and that can't work you're, you're opening yourself up to all sorts of evil you're opening yourself up to all sorts of negative things you understand so this, this is what the space is the space is that dual area that dual 
um, um, location that you exist in. And as you exist in that physical space, you're resonating spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. And when you resonate spiritual energy, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a magnet. You either are going to attract other um, spiritual forces or you're going to repel them. Mm -hmm. It's like a magnet. You ever, you, ever put the, the, you ever put the two south pole of a magnet together? Do you know that you can use a magnet and push away another magnet? Yeah. By what? The wrong pole. If you put the wrong pole together instead of it attracts okay. each other, it pulls it pushed mm -hmm. away. And yeah. many times when people enter into the spiritual realm because they might do the wrong thing, them either attract the wrong type of element or them repel the right type of element away from them. That's why some people try to take away themselves from a certain um, scenario because they don't want that energy around them mm -hmm. for fear that that energy can start to, you know, affect right. you. Or affect your speed. Right. My mama used to say this back in the day. She used to say, show me your company. Me know, me know. <laughs> and I tell you who you are. You know why? Because of energy. Mm. It's the energy where we resonate. Somebody gonna rub off on somebody. Mm -hmm. And my wife, you know, she is a big influence on me and my son. And, and I'm going to say, he is a big influence on us. And I am a big influence on them. Why? Because we share that same intimate space. Mm -hmm. We've been around each other and we start, to, we start to grow to know the type of personality. You see, when you talk about character, personality, and, and, and them type of thing there, you know, you talk about energy, you know. We resonate, we, we come off. And, and, and so this, this is important to understand what, your, what the, the, the space is about. Mm -hmm. Enram, blessings to you. Big up. Big Thank up, you so up. much for joining us, neighbor. So when, when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you're spe when you talk about your space, don't just limit it to the physical. Because there is way more to your space than just what you see. Because you can interact with somebody who is nowhere near your, your physical space. Mm -hmm. And them still affect you oh yes so oh yes definitely it's not it's not a physical thing necessarily one of the reasons why people put a doormat at the front of them door is that they don't want anything that coming that coming from outside any dirt that coming from outside to come into their space they, that's why they put on a floor mat mm -hmm. so when you're coming into the house you dust off the dirt from outside of your space so that you can enter into the space in a, in a, with a clean shoes. Mm -hmm. well, 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 spiritually, ladies and gentlemen. Or if you're Jamaican, you have to take off your shoes. Well, if you're Jamaican, <laughs> you have to take off your shoes with you. <laughs> Carlos says, yes, be careful of our links. Awesome, awesome. And uh, um, 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 Barbara, Barb Wire B says, sage isn't biblical. Calling the name of Jesus should be enough. Thank you so much, Barb, Barb Wire B blessings to you so so we, we look at the space and see that it's an important factor in the whole space now in the whole con, con, consideration now now many people come and say they want to cleanse them space of negative energy you understand and the, the negative energy they're talking about is all those frequencies that disrupt their peace their tranquility that, that them equilibrium get thrown off or them feel like them have some bad vibes are going and frank sizzle says listening to you both um in north carolina north, north carolina, carolina is in, in the house, house. <laughs> blessings blessings Rally yeah you know mm -hmm. the first thing i would want to say the first very first thing if i can be so bold you want you want you don't want to see about removing negative energy from your space. What's the first thing you'd want to do? And you are a professional at that. You you are always doing that. What? Clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of the first thing. One of the first thing you want to do is you want to clean your house, clean your space, clean your office, it's a clean your desk. Act, but trust me, it makes a huge difference. Trust me. You know, you know, separate and apart from cleaning the place, do you, I don't know if anybody else have that same experience, but does making your bed in the morning change your whole mental 
throughout the day does that affect you whether your room is is messy or whether your your, your bed is nice and neat for me I feel like it, it motivates me when we get up and make the bed right away and it does it does change my whole you know Mindset. Our whole mindset. No, My but, own mindset. I'm gonna be today. frank. I Can know. I be frank? I'll, I'll be saying to you, I'm, I'm gonna be real, right? Mm. It's like, for instance, there are times when my wife has an early client, you know, and um, she will jump up off uh, out of bed, you know, do what she have to do, and she will leave me in bed. Mm -hmm. Now, me at a croft, where me now, me now clean my, me now, me now make up my bed. Not all the time. Never make up bed sometimes, right? Rarely. Wow, why would you throw me under the bus like that? You could say you could you could even lie for me sometimes. You know? Anyway, so so there are times when I will not make up my bed right away. Mm -hmm. I would get up, you know, maybe an hour or so after her. But that was in the past, because normally now we get up and we're gonna run, gonna do with stuff. Mm -hmm. If you leave that room and you come back maybe an hour, whatever time you come back, if your bed is not made up, it kills your whole vibe for, towards the room. For real. You feel like, like you just walk into a burden. <clears throat> and one of the problems that people will say is wrong with their space is that their space is holding them down. You know, it will hold them down. Um, Carrie Ann Tyrrell, blessings to you. What's up, Carrie Ann? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. And guys, once you jump in, just drop a thumbs up so that, you know, we can always, um, you know, see the, 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 the niceness and, 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 you know, for the support. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so the first thing you want to do in cleansing your space is actually cleanse your space. Some people, and again, I'm not here, I'm not really want to trouble the people them where I, I, I well, I want to trouble them, but the point is I'm not here to target any given, one given person. Mm -hmm. Some people I do, do sage, crystal, them I do, you know, all sorts of things in a dirty room. Mm -hmm. Physically, the room, you know, right, smell moly, things not put in place. Now, more, more I just remind me say it's not it's not biblical, but the the the, the parable the, the the proverb that says cleanliness is next to godliness it rings true. It's not a biblical term, right? But it rings true that we ought to cleanse our space. You know, we have we have to do it. Let me see if I can pull up anything where the Bible talk about um, cleanliness. What I like use Google, you know, the Bible. What does the Bible say, say about cleanliness? About <laughs> it burned my face, eh? Clean. Be careful and learn. Read Matthew chapter 23. Lee. Clean. Oh. Lee. Ness. So, she always just flat me, you know. Darkness cannot hide from light and burnt energy is, is don't like cleanliness. <laughs> Carlos, you are liquid. You've said darkness can't run from light and, and bad energy run from cleanliness. <laughs> All right. So, here it says now, here it says now in Wikipedia. Let's use Wikipedia. In the Old Testament, ab ablution was considered a prerequisite to approaching God. Whether by means of sacrifice, prayer, or entering a holy place, Christianity has always placed a strong emphasis on hygiene. So, so as a matter of fact, let me let me. Are you gonna say the go, same go thing? Go ahead, babes. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're talking about it, it, back in the Bible days when they entered a home. No, yo, oh. you say it. You say it. No, I was go gonna ahead. say as a matter of fact. Um, oh, but that not to do with cleansing the space. But it's still up to do with cleanliness. Because remember back in the Bible days when you entered somebody's home, it was traditional that you wash your hands and your feet at the door before you even enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that 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 physically goes without saying. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not carrying street there to come in a, in, a, in a the house, you know. But but it's important because I want to I want to attach this, the, the idea of cleanliness to the spiritual application, because again, when you try to remove negative energy, it's a spiritual thing. You can't remove negative energy from your home without a spiritual removal, because negative energy is unseen. You can only feel it or see the results of negative energy, but you can't see it. 
-hmm. And from me can't see it and it's invisible, then it must be spiritual because a two realm. Right. All right, watch this. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. It says, wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes, cease to do evil. Wash yourself, make yourself clean before you go to God. You see that? And a matter of fact, a lot of people who are, are trying to cleanse their space and, 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 you know, get rid of certain energy when they themselves mm -hmm. are not at the place mm -hmm. where they, you know, they're all together clean before, before God. Watch this now, because a lot of people not understand this. I'm going to bust some people bubbles now. You have some people who get up in the morning and them, them are going to do them business, you know, go about you, number two, <laughs> and then bring them Bible. Them go read them Bible in a bathroom. You know, so that is very, very bad before, before God. Thank Did you all know that? Anybody knew that Thank God don't like that? First that? I've never a heard lot of people read before. them Bible while they're upon the toilet. And then you tell, it's like, it's like you put God in a mix. You want to remove negative energy or you want to get gain insight from God and you carry your Bible in a toilet. <laughs> See, see what Karyan says? Yeah, because when the house needs to clean, wipe out the place, feel heavy, and after a clean house, feel light. <laughs> it's true. True. So hear what the Bible said now, because, get, ladies and gentlemen, I used to read my Bible in the bathroom. I used to read my Bible in the bathroom. How, how many other people do that? <laughs> how many other people? Read, be honest, be fair. How many other people read them by them Bible in the bathroom? Listen what it says now, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 12 to 14. Listen what, G, what God says. You shall have a place outside of the camp, and you shall go out to it. And you shall have a, a trowel with your tools. And when you sit down outside, you shall dig a hole with it and turn back and cover up your excrement. Because the Lord your God walks in the midst of your camp to deliver you and to give up your enemies before you. Therefore, your camp must be holy so that he may not see anything indecent among you and turn away from you. Oops, there it is. That part. Look at that. Sister Rose, <laughs> blessing to you, Sister Rose. Well, the man said, I don't want them amongst that, brother. Hmm. I am coming to be with you. I'm coming to come clean up your space. And I, I bought you, make care of my word. And you want enlightenment in I bought you when you do your business. So, what Carlos said, because we would never eat in the bathroom. No. But we're reading for holy enlightenment. Mm -hmm. We're reading for illumination and we're praying, asking God to be a part of us while we're straight. Matter of fact, you would not even hear from somebody you, you don't usually if you're a normal person you don't want nobody else in the bathroom when you're in there if if, if somebody should come there and try to have a conversation yeah run them away almost like it can't happen you have to wait so how you expect god to talk to you <laughs> so god must just in the bathroom and chill with you while you drop your thing <laughs> if the president should come to your house you would never even, you would not even say, excuse me, I forgot to the restroom. You would not tell him that the way or your, your the way or your, 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 um, you know, right. the way your, your pre, a praising presence being around you. Mm -hmm. But the God of the universe who make you, who have the power to give you wealth and keep you on the right path and remove demons from your house, are in theme words of enlightenment, the words of life you're carrying in your bathroom. That's 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 terrible. You're not getting no insight because it says here that God don't want him no want to see that. He doesn't want to see that. So cleaning up your space means practicing hygiene. It means doing, you know, go above and beyond to make sure your home, your space, wherever you are, that you're seeking um, um, cleansing and, and removing of bad energy. Remember, say all of them space they need to clean up. That's that's fair. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So it, it, it goes beyond, you know, reasonable doubt to say that the, the Bible tells you that you ought to clean up your space. Now, in cleaning up your space, you also have to think higher thoughts. That's one of the most important ways in which you can remove negative energies. Think higher thoughts. It's, it's very important. If you are pessimistic, if you are, you know, um, if you're always seeing things from from the half empty stage that's pessimistic right mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you will never perceive any good thing happening because everything you perceive is in a negative way. And you have to, you have to really and truly start your, your whole entire day with commanding that day. This is why we pray in the morning. When we're going to do our walk, we pray as a, as a husband and wife. But we're not perfect, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get up and I can't stand her. I mean, no, she can't stand me most of the time. I am so <laughs> annoying. Yeah, and I take pride in being annoying sometimes because of... You're, oh, proud? You're proud? Yeah, because I have to, you know, evoke some type of, um, you know, controversy. Because I'm the only outlet that you, you get to. I, 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 I can't tolerate your annoyance because I'm me when you and I. So... But, but but because I'm so cute, you know, it it, it works. When you're, when you're cute, I'm not. So anybody who cute, am I right for annoying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. So watch this now. It's important to think higher thoughts and to maintain that thought pattern irrespective of your encounters or your, 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 your situations and or circumstances. This is what the Bible says in Philippians 4, chapter 8. Finally, brothers, whatsoever is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, excellent, worthy of praise, think on those things. That, that's, 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 that's one of the best ways. And in if, which if, you can, you're, if, you're, mm -hmm. if you're thinking of those things, you, you don't have the room, you don't have the capacity to entertain the anger, the negativity, you know, just all of that bad stuff. You know, have no place. Right. Like you're, already, you're, you're already focusing on all of these things. Right. So it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it. But some will arrive from the bathroom and say, God, just tell him something. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear how I will tell them, you know. I don't want to hear how I tell them. Hi. You understand? It, 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 it's, we're living in a pragmatic world. Where people want to gain insights and wisdom and all these things, but the God who gives insight, the God who makes one wise, them reject. Mm -hmm. And the devil has always been jealous of God. This is why he got thrown out. If you if you are biblical, mm -hmm. this is why he got thrown out of heaven because he him crave him, him tried to to take God's glory, God's power, and so the devil is gonna do everything to replace God in your life. And so if God, is, if God gives us a prerequisite as to how to approach him, and we don't approach him that way, the devil has to say, come my way. It's just as though he, this is the same original sin. Mm -hmm. When him speak to Eve in the garden, and the Eve said, God say you mustn't do it, him, 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 him come with a lie and him say, God never really said. Yes, yes. And in every single aspect of our life, the devil has, a, has, a, has that same question for us. Did God really say? You know? Yes, cleaning of the physical by envir our environment and cleaning of the spiritual by not indulging in, in what's, what's not of God. God, purification of our hearts. Thank you so much, um, Carrie. And we have all good people on, online mm -hmm. who knows. I, I don't think I need to continue Be anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so it's important to understand that if we are, if, again, if we want to illegally enter into a spiritual contract, the devil is always there to let us in. When I was young, I used to try to get into a place named Coney Park in Jamaica. They always have dance and session over there, and you have to pay one fifty dollar or whatever to get in. That them days are probably twenty dollar. But it's Jamaican. Though. But there is always a security where tell us, "Hey, man, if you can come under the fence, right? As I let you in, just give me ten dollar, give me five dollar, give me twenty dollar, and you get in." Mm -hmm. And we would take that illegal route to get into the session, not understanding. Say, so once you're in there, and if you don't have a ban. That says you belong to Coney Park. They might go throw you out. Oh, them good as I'll kick you up in there, but I'm going to run you away. <laughs> you understand? But many people try to take the illegal route into the spiritual realm. And that is weird. We fall short because now we have gone in and attracted some things to ourselves that we never planned for. Mm -hmm. Just as I said, a magnet either attract or repel a magnet depending on how you use it. All right? So, let's get into um, the first thing, as we said, babes, we, we remember if we write down the points, let me know. The first one is to clean our house. The yeah, second one is to, is to clean up your thoughts. Think higher thoughts. Think better thoughts. You know, um, it's important that we, we keep our thoughts, thought life pure. The next thing is to not 
to, to avoid rituals. Avoid rituals, especially rituals that you don't know. Hmm. You understand? Where does it say in Leviticus um, about burning um, sage and them something there, about um, um, practices, demonic practices? It said, you know, somewhere there. Um, uh -huh. about demonic practices? Um, all right, all right. No, no, no. Um, Isaiah 47 says this. Stand now with thine enchantment and with thy, the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labor from thy youth. If so be thou shall be able to profit. If so you may may prevail you are weary in the multitude of your counsel come let the astrologers stargaze as the monthly um prognosticators find it in a in a one better um translation for me now what is isaiah it? 47 um and, and and see what it says all right the whole point is um all your demonic practices or your your anti-god are are, are are x what do you call it now your activities that are not biblical verse, verse start on verse 11 mm. all right let me see isaiah 47 yeah isaiah 47 all right let's go into here your wisdom and knowledge misleads you verse 10b when you say to yourself i am and there is none beside me disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with a ransom. A catastrophe you cannot foresee will come up suddenly on you. Keep on then with your magic spells and your many sorcery, which you have labored at since childhood. Perhaps you will succeed. Perhaps you will cause terror. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let all your astrologers come forward and those stargazers who make predictions month by month. That's a horoscope, you know. Mm -hmm. That's a horoscope. Let them come and save you from what is coming on you. You hear that? Wow. This is going to talk. Wow. Don't entertain ritualistic behaviors. Now, sage. Sage was, was something that, that was done by the early American Indians. You understand? It's called smudging. You light it, you wrap it in a bundle, you light it, and then you walk around and, and you, you, them used to do them thing. And them do them thing. And that was part of their paganistic religion. And many people take it up today. It's those Now you have witchcraft, people who are deep in their cult, who start the practices or carry the practices forward. And then you have un, um, uneducated naive people who actually love god and want good who take it up because them see it look cute it look make them look special some people always are going to let them have more insight than other people you know like i'm so you know like you're not you're not burning sage who are you you're not you, you don't even ready you know you're not even right you understand but these things are not of god it's not of god you understand so when we, Shana James, blessings to you, Shana James, so crap. Hi, thank you so much for being a part of our, of our life. So when you take on these practices, no, just like a magnet, you may not physically see the result, but spiritually you're calling things into your space that are used to those practices from afar off. And remember, me tell you, it's not like you're burning these things because it smells nice. You're burning them because you want to create an energetic vibe. You're tapping into an energy or a spiritual source. Mm -hmm. And the Bible is saying, God is saying in the Bible that if you, if you enter the spiritual realm illegally, you may find yourself being subjected to some of the things that are in the, in the spiritual realm. Let me tell you one of the most important, one of the most popular demonic presence that can reach you in the spiritual realm i heard this from when i was a child something named familiar spirits familiar spirits are demonic presence that attach themselves to your follow your own and start to influence your behavior in the physical by virtue of how them them create scenarios around you 
when you get to that place where for, for instance a husband leave him house and him go to a, 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 a strip club for instance seeing <laughs> and that sound that you just made <laughs> when you when a husband leave him house him wife and him go to a strip club for instance and him go find himself in 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 a certain level you know of, of intimacy with with somebody who is 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 exposed him don't know what type of spiritual energies that person is 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 putting onto him mm -hmm. you understand and there are some ways in which we attract um demonic presence and you can be um what possessed you know or, or you can be um afflicted let's use that word afflicted I mean, I like use all of a church word I mean, but you know meaning a, a spiritual a spiritual entity can come itch themselves by you all right the first thing is this in order to navigate the spiritual and the physical we always have to be in a sound mind our mind is the most important aspect to us you understand if you look at the word of god alien blessings to you alien god made this world through the word through the word he used the word why because the only thing that transcends um realms is the spoken word demons can hear you and you can hear them as uh, 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 even if you can't see them mm -hmm. the word you understand listen to what i'm saying the word now when a person attach themselves to a a, a, a a familiar spirit attach himself to you it's because your mind has been compromised drugs alcohol sex your mind can't get compromised when i'm when a person reach an orgasm they are at a there's a thin place a thin line where they are totally blank them the inner them right mind for a split second mm -hmm. when a person take drugs them out of the mind for whatever time the nirvana lasts mm -hmm. when a person is alcohol um when in in, in, in inebriated by alcohol in not in my mind when you get to that place ladies and gentlemen you can come out of that state with an with a, a spiritual influence by your mind by your in, in, you know by your spirit by your body by your, just round you mm -hmm. you can well you say no use possessed yeah 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 them, them take them take a set by you hence spelling that that that's um alien says hence spelling okay. um that is because everybody want to play god and y'all have a great one i have to go back to work bless your sunshine mm -hmm. bless you what about burning frankincense and myrrh? Is it not spiritual? Naomi, the Bible does not give us any prerequisites to burning incense mm -hmm. as part of our regimen mm -hmm. to be closer to God. And the practices of the Jewish religion has nothing to do with our salvation and how we apply ourselves spiritually nowadays. And when the gold and fr the, the myrrh, frankincense, the, the gold, frankincense, and myrrh was this was given to Christ, it was given because of the the, the expense, the expensiveness of the of the, the value of the of the product as a as a as a as a fragrance. To burn these things in order to draw closer to God is wrong. We are not given that leeway by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We are not given that leeway by the Holy Spirit. And, and especially things that are not in the Bible, you know. We have to understand the principle of the word of God. The principle of the word of God. Jesus Christ in the Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to God except through me. There is absolutely no other prerequisite for getting rid of the devil and all of these things or anything negative out of your space. Other than Jesus Christ and prayer. Okay. You understand? The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. So burning sage, burning this, get crystal. <laughs> crystal, taking a stone and put it down in your house and say the energy from the stone, I've got cleanse the space. What? <laughs> you, you put energy in your space. You're not taking energy out of your space. You put energies yeah, in your space. You're attracting energy. <laughs> Prayer kid. Prayer kid, you stay there. <laughs> That's a no split. <laughs> no. No, no, no. None of these things. 
does not, we are not supposed to do these things. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's important, ladies and gentlemen. You understand? So you were saying earlier about mm -hmm. um, the three different things that can cause you to attract that type of thing to you. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're um meaning attract a possession or an affliction from from demonic forces right. if the, the number one thing is babes to be out of your mind okay anything that takes you out of yeah your mental, mental capacity okay you understand that for the not for the people them where you said they're mad or they're mentally disturbed you see people acting strange upon the road mm -hmm. them possess them possess one of the one of the most undiagnosed one of the all right let me use this term one of the illnesses that are is plaguing humanity for years and cannot be diagnosed. Up till now, doctors don't know what caused this. There's not a physical, There's scientific explanation for that particular illness. Epilepsy. Mm -hmm. But the Bible talk about epilepsy from day one. The Bible talk about it now. Do we want to say some people are possessed? No, we don't want to say it, but that don't mean say it's not true. You understand? The reason why I asked is because someone told me to burn out my house with it, but I said I use olive oil and read my psalms to keep my house under the blood of Jesus. Thank you so much, Naomi. Now them want you burn down your house. That them really want. That them really want. Because that suggestion to take you away from God and to put your faith. How can we put our faith in, 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 in burning something and, and in even, mm -hmm. even, the, even, the very, even the very altar where the men, people, them set up. The Bible tell us said that was that was an exercise to point us towards Christ, which is the faith. Our faith must be established in Christ. Even the very altar where they used to light and burn animal pan, it was not salvation. It never saved nobody. Mm -hmm. And it, now that Christ is here, then it, it removed that, that, that necessity for that type of sacrifice. Yep. But it's an ultimate sacrifice. Yep. And so it's important to understand that some of these practices are rooted in idolatry. They're rooted in the occult. They are pulling up demons and putting them in your house rather than taking them out of your house. And ladies and gentlemen, you have a whole heap of testimony mm -hmm. of people who have suffered because they have started these practices. Now, Deuteronomy 7 verse 5, um, 25 and 26 says, the graven image of their God shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shall thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed, be a cursed thing like it. Put it again. Do, do your Bible verse again. Come I mean, like your, your version, you know, it's it normal. Deuteronomy 7, verse 25. All right? So don't bring nothing. Outside of the kingdom of God, outside of God's will. Deuteronomy 7? Deuteronomy 7, yeah. There's no 35. No, 25 oh. to 26. All right, read that, girl. 25 to 26. The image of their gods you are to burn in the fire. Do not covet the silver and the gold on them. Hold on there. So he's saying, tear down all of the idols and burn them up. Don't try to take off none of the precious yeah, jewels. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that's a big thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Because some of the little trinkets, them and the little things, them we have and we sell belong to their curse, to their cult. We see some little thing with some little God's cardboard on it and some little Buddha thing and some little thing, and we take them and carry them in our house and put them in our space. Mm -hmm. And certain paintings with certain hidden messages that we don't understand too we have to be careful yes you're not bringing in that type of thing in your house carlos said the truth is we christian like to call everything demons that that can be true carlos but and everything a demon but some things are mm -hmm. and you have to discern to know what you have to discern to know what is what you see me no we can't just say everything we're coming out of the house a demon no we cannot hey, say that, that. Jamaican, good evening to you you know we can't say that but but there are some things that if we, the most important thing, Carlos, is this. If you don't know what it is, if you don't know what a thing represents, you see a symbol and you don't have any clue what it says. The wise person would say, I'm not putting this in my space mm -hmm. because I don't know what it is. 
But many of us like to be curious. Many of us want to be trendy. Many of us want to step away from the things of God and put those things. Like, like for instance, did you know that the Bible says that we are to put the right the words of God and put them in our house, put them on our mantle over the doorpost, put them at the gate, the words of God. And many times, like some um, AG born Jamaican just talk about the tattoos. Chinese. We don't speak Chinese. And if you spoke Chinese and write what you, what you want, that's fine. But if you don't speak Chinese, why would you make somebody put a tattoo on you that have Chinese writing? So it can say when you see this man shoot him. <laughs> but it looks so cute. It looks so nice. Look at my, look at my ways. You know? It's very important. It's important to understand these things. So continue reading that. Let, let us wrap this up quickly. Okay. So don't take the silver. Don't covet the silver and the gold on them. And do not take it for yourselves. Or you will be ensnared by it. For it is detestable to the Lord your God. Do not bring a detestable thing into your house. Or you, like it, will be set apart for destruction. Regard it as vile and utterly detested, for it is set apart for destruction. Mm. That goes without saying. And these things are transcend time. You want to clean up your space. Be careful of some of the rituals, the occult uh, symbols, mm -hmm. and these things that you bring into that space. You understand? If you, if you want to teach your children morality... Don't put on an immoral TV show. Mm -hmm. If you want to teach them how to speak properly, don't put on something where like Ebonics or, or, or you understand what I'm saying? So you you want your space clean, bring clean elements. Bring elements that are approved by the God that you're seeking the cleansing from. That's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. This is not even this, this is not even church. This is nothing to do with church. It has to do with who do you want to clean your space? If you want the God of the Bible to clean your space, then go to the Bible for the prerequisites. If you want Satan to clean your space, then find, find what Satan wants to clean your space. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. If you call, if you call where the, where the, the people that were clean vent name? Yeah, the ear, mm -hmm. Stanley Steamer. Mm -hmm. If you have carpet in your room and you call Stanley Steamer, what do you expect them to come and do? Clean your carpet. But suppose you have carpet in your room and you bring a painter. And say, boy, my carpet won't clean. Where am I going to? Not show paint on the carpet. <laughs> so these things are important. It's very important. Big up to the Duns who are listening. Um, blessings to Uno. All right. So we, we see by the clock on the wall that it's time to bid you one and all. You know, um, I want to leave us with, with one of the most important passages that I came across as it relates to, you know, cleaning up your space. Ephesians chapter 5. Um, again, guys, I'm not trying to be, um, to do a church thing. I'm just using the Bible because, again, I believe that the Bible is, is, has to do with spirituality more than anything else. And many of us want to transcend or step past the Bible and enter the spiritual realm in an illegal way. That's what I believe. All right. You don't have to share my belief, but I do hope that you at least, you know, see my point. All right. If somebody <laughs> says clean the steam out the carpet. If that's what they come to, steam the carpet. You know? Um, All right. So works? um let's start from verse one. Let's start from verse one. I like the whole the whole conversation that Ephesians it is. Ephesians five verse one. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children. Stop this up. You want to clean up your space? Follow that example. Mm How -hmm. can we want to clean up our space and step past God to something else? And that's that's my that's my major problem with with burning sage and using crystals and going into seances and 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 trying to do meditation and all of that. Is that the example that we have from God, or is it the example that other people give from other um, belief systems? Yes, Richard J. One of the practices that I've seen um, people doing, and I love it. I actually do love it. 
is the, the, in the new construction, like for instance, I, I buy a house and, and the house is being built. I would go in into the new construction before the walls are put up and I would write Bible verses, you know, okay. on the framework. And that, that mark you, uh, let me just be real. Can I be real? Putting Bible verses on the framework don't do one thing. It's not like the demon, they're going to stop and say, hold on. Let me read that. Hold on, Matthew 5, <laughs> let me read it. Mm, oh, geez, let's turn back to Matthew 5, say, thou shalt not attack the people then. The demon's not going to stop it. But what it does for the person who is doing it is to establish a level of faith. It's a, it's a practice that, that says, I want to establish my home on the premise of God's word. Mm -hmm. so, so spiritually, it only helped the person who write it. That's my belief. So don't put the Bible over the child's head in the crib either. Right. Because and again, <laughs> Deuteronomy says you must write the, the words of God on the doorpost and the lintel and all over in, in your house. So, but but it, it meant that you must write it so that you can be reminded by it. Write it, it on the tablet of your heart. Yeah, it, it, you know, so, so I'm just saying it's a good practice. At least they're using the word of God. And not just writing some symbol like the, the artist who formerly known as. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. So, walk in the way. I'm going to reach again. Number two. Verse two. Um, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed because these are improper for God's holy people. Let's stop there. So part of cleaning up your house is cleaning up your life. Part of removing negative energy from yourself is to remove negative energy from your life. Right. Because some of the people, them, we are burned sage and I burn this and I do these rituals and things. Them leave, them leave and go take people, man. Them leave and go rob people at the store. Them leave and go live anyhow, cause anybody or them, them do everything like normal. But you walk around your house like, mm, nam yo, horrenge, kyo, nam yo. and then you leave and go do the worst things. In order to have a pure space and in order to clean up the energies around you, you have to, have, you have to have put out good energy. It, it, it makes sense a lot of sense it really makes a lot of sense you just spend two, an hour and a half in your house ago <laughs> and i do your thing no I, first you, of all yeah michelle you know you're with them talking about patsy <laughs> yeah man patsy take the girl man down the road i can't believe <laughs> Sure, I'm burning the same, same time, you know. Take out the negative, negative out of your life. You practice, you have to practice what you preach. For real. You understand? You want, you want sense. positive energy around you? Start living positive because it is attraction. The law of attraction works. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this is one of the number one reasons why your sage now work neither will it work because you're still a drawing negative by yourself. You understand? If you want to remove negative energies from your space, stop being negative. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. But right. fornication, all uncleanness, covetousness must not be named among you as fitting for saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which is not fitting, but rather give thanks. So replace the negative with positive wake up in the morning and say thank you god mm -hmm. thank you for this good thing thank you for life thank you for giving me a different a new a new day the bible says the steadfast love of the lord never ceases and his mercies will never come to an end but they are new every morning thank god for new mercies thank god for life mm -hmm. giving thanks for this you know this this is what the bible says don't do these things why why let me tell you why you ought not to do these things because no fornicator, unclean person, covetous person who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. Unclean, fornicator, that is the sexual promiscuous. Unclean, immor immoral person, 
covetous meaning bad mind and if you're bad mind you're idolater mm -hmm. you understand you're, you're idol worshiper because you're bad mind people for them things and you don't know how them get them things none of you have, have any place in the in the kingdom of god so come off of that and come over here get off that negative ne and bandwagon that you're living and start to operate in a positive light and see if positivity not come on you because the law of attraction is real yeah. let nobody deceive you with empty words where we the first six baby come on read that let thing. no one deceive you with any empty words for because of such things god's wrath comes on those who are disobedient so yeah so that is important because some of us are in our ears are we want to hear the source we want to hear how good we are pragmatism says tell me big me up don't make nobody deceive you with empty words you understand because God get don't get mad from people who disobey. Mm -hmm. We want negative to happen, be disobedient. Start to obey God. Start to look to God. Start to live a clean life. Start to live hygienic. Start to clean up your home, physical clean. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised to know how your house start to look good. Let me go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come down. Let me see. Um, the, no one deceive you with empty words. Da, da, da. And then it says, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light of, the light of the Lord, or in the light of the Lord. Walk as children of light. These are, these are words that speak to us living uprightly. You can't live down. You can't live maliciously. You can't live negative. You can't live in the darkness. Meaning ignorance, meaning immorality and demon negativity, and then expect to inherit light and goodness and glory. You can't do that. It's like a vampire wake up all the time, coughing and say, Let me stretch in the sun. <laughs> you have a burn up because you're a vampire, you belong in the darkness. And so many of us want to clean up our space, but our lives are so dark, are so dirty. It's so bombarded with, with filthiness and, and, and negative influences. And we don't understand, so that is what's causing the problem. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Because we are not submitting to God's will, but seeking after our own will, and we don't see it working, we keep on going deeper. I hear one girl say she used to burn the sage, then she start by crystal, then somebody start carrying her to some, some ritual meeting. And it just start get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse mm -hmm. until she realizes that she's going deeper into the wrong and instead of, of, of coming into the right. And that was her problem. She had to reject everything mm -hmm. and start over back fresh. Oh. Okay. All right. Let, I'm going to hurry along, guys. I don't want to keep you guys much longer than an hour. Um, what did I say? Person? Exposed by light becomes visible. And Speak. That yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but everything exposed by light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up, sleep, or rise up from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. My favorite verse in the Bible. This is number 15 is my favorite verse in the Bible. Mm -hmm. See then that you be careful how you live. Cool. Not as fools. But as wise, could demons smell? Mm. To be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know if demons can smell. Oh, that's one of the things somebody said that the demons like sweet smell. And that's they, no, they don't like it. They don't like the sweet smell. That's why they, wow. they, 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 in that case, if you burn a regular candle in your house, they're supposed to. That means you have to stop go back and you can't forget to go back and body works. Right. Just go bath and body works. Eh? If Good. demons don't like sweet smell, <laughs> just kill them with bath and body works. No demon in my house. You can't tell them that straight. Because every seal them up, she over there. Whatever. She over bath and body works. So <laughs> don't demon in my house. Eucalyptus, mad them. <laughs> Japanese cherry, what name? Blossom. Japanese cherry blossom, mad them. Every demon run out of that house. You understand? Where the next one, the name, see? Sensual Amber. Life of the party. Not to mention the Christmas one, then peppermint and something. Oh, God. 
But let me give you an example of what this, the, the, the ridiculous conversation about the, the, the sweet smelling savor. Now, the Bible talk about our praises going up to God as a sweet smelling savor or, or, or God, it, God receive it like that. It's a metaphor. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, when the Bible talks about our, our, our incense, our praises going up to him, it's simply using a graphic way of describing how God receives the prayers from us. It's not saying that God smell it. It's just saying that he receives it as though it was a sweet smelling savor. Mm -hmm. And so stop trying to muddle the waters and talk, use the Bible wrong. God not smell nothing. Him receive it in a spiritual way. And it come in like. Mm -hmm. It reaches him as though. It's trying to put how God receive it in a human way. So we understand that him receive it. Right. But it's not saying we must go burn sweet sitting and, and go, go burn sugar. And, and them something that people just, oh my God. Mm -hmm. So it says, be careful then how you live. Not as a fool, but as a wise person. Redeeming the time or making use of every opportunity because the days are evil. It's important to understand that every opportunity we get, we ought to give credence to God. Why? Because we're living in evil days. When everybody, when the evil ones are trying to deter us from God, they're trying to push us God out and put mankind in and man practices and man idea and ideologies. And so the, the, that's why it says here, do not be unwise but understand, verse 17, therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. You see it? This is how you cleanse your space. Understand where God's will for you is. And stop putting your faith into these things, inanimate objects and these things that have no bearing, but can open doors to, that you don't want to open. No, it's important. Listen to this. Do not be drunk with wine. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your mind. All right? But be filled with the Spirit. This is how you cleanse your space, guys. One, be filled with the Spirit. Two, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms. Making, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord and giving thanks all in always for all things unto God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another and in the fear of God. See that? See that? So if you're trying to get rid of negative energy, you want to create an atmosphere in your in your space by putting on some worship songs. Invite God's presence in your house. And that will definitely, you know. Yep. Get rid of anything negative. Speaking with Psalms, read the Bible. Read the Psalms. And if you can play it, play it. Play the Psalms. Hymns. Church song, you know, gospel songs. Spiritual songs. Not 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 every song is spiritual, you know. Mm -hmm. But that song that takes you to the place where you're seeing God, where you're 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 you're, you're actually, you know, you're you're dead. -ed. You know my table, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in that place where it's just you and God worshiping. You understand? Find those, those songs. Sing them out of your mouth. Play them. Put up the, 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 the psalms. They make them read. Everybody have the Bible up. We can't we can talk. You know? And then, always giving thanks to God. That's important. Because some of us, we go through our entire day and don't say thank you, God, for nothing. And understand that everything we need for life and godliness has been given by God. Mm -hmm. And so you give thanks to God, it says, in the name of, of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And submit to one another out of the fear or respect of God. That's how you cleanse your space, ladies and gentlemen. We could, we could go on and on. But the most important thing is, Turpentine, Turpentine. Daniel Rickley like says terp, turpentine. I think turpentine has some chemical. I don't know. I don't know where I said. Daniel, nobody talk about turpentine for you to clean your space. You know, we're not stop the trouble. <laughs> you understand? Stop the trouble, man. I mean, no, say that you mean. No, no, ladies and gentlemen, 
the same passage go into some bigger argument about wife and husband and husband. Now, God is so. I leave it right there so. You know, but it's important to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that some of these practices that we're seeing now being trendy are only ways in which the enemy can trap us. Listen this and listen carefully. The devil is the prince of the power of the ear, according to the word of God. He has control of media. He has control of Hollywood. He has control of almost every earthly um, dominion. And so when we see some things coming out on social media, and we see some things coming out in print, and we see some things coming out in different ways, go to your Bible and look them up. Google. Google is, can be used for your benefit, not for your detriment. Child of God, Google. What does the Bible say about cleansing your space? What does the Bible say about TV and, and, and different things? And, and look at the, 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 the writings there and look at the biblical references that are made. That's another thing. Be careful what you play in your house, what you watch. What did your client said the other day? Hmm? About movie, horror movies. What did your no, client no, say? No, she was just saying that certain things she don't even allow you know, in her home. She don't allow certain movies. With, with certain demonic connotations or you know messages to, to be to be played in our house because you know all of that can you know seep itself in a spirit without you even realizing before you know it all of, you know the negativity from the from the show and then you start the have, uh, bad dreams yeah sometimes, man shock sometimes treatment when I, when I see certain things or watch certain things it it, it does you know true re reappear true. In, a, in the form of dreams and all these things. So, yeah. So, let me give you a quick story. Let me give you a quick, 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 quick story. So, a couple of years ago, there was this young man who, there's a pastor who um, came on, uh, to his church and confessed that he has been having tormenting dreams. He has a demonic person in a dream, you know, just this attacker in a dream, been attacking him for years. And he has been, he has been plagued by it and him plead the blood of Jesus over his life and all these things. And, and it, no, it, it, it has not gone. And one day he was walking in his town and he, he passed the movie theater. And when he passed the movie theater, there was the demon where he seen him dream on the screen coming out as a movie to be released. Mm -hmm. And the man went and in search and search and found the producer. And the producer gave him the right and the person who made the movie. And he finally got it to the person and said, how did you, you know, think up this demon? And the, the man said, this, this has been in my dreams for years. When I was a child, it was always haunting me, talking to me, making trouble with me. And when I become an adult, I said, I'm put it in a movie. Wow. The point I'm trying to make is, enough of these fantasy movies and these horror movies and these demonic movies and these things that you see with, 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 with scary things and stuff, it's coming out of an imaginary place, right? But I know everything, I know I don't see imagination. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual download. And that is it is made to bring some drive, some type of energy into us. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, that fear is an energy? Fear, that emotional spectrum of fear can cripple you and make you not move. Mm -hmm. Fear can hold you back from becoming the best that you can be. Fear can make you never make a step forward. You can be crippled by fear. You understand? And the devil wants to drive fear into us. But the Bible says we were not given the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, a proper mind, a strong mind, a, a stable mind. You see me? And so many times we see things, you know, I, I, say Alien say, download. It don't, don't download. Mm -hmm. So you have a careful way you watch. I tell you. You see me? Pornography is another one. Keep you always in another place there. Where you not even want to tap into reality. You don't want to be with the person where God ordained you to be. Because guess what? You're already preoccupied in your mind. You see me? Not to mention the music. The music is a whole topic on its own. Oh, It Lord. can be a whole oh, geez. live on its own. Because the music has some breeder messages in Oh, jeez. And did you know, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing I'm going to say and then I'm going to close it off. That music is the only element on the earth that is not original to the earth. Did you know that music originated in heaven according to the word of God? 
that music is not from the earth and music was created for one single purpose. One single purpose music was made for worship. Did you know that when you listen to music, it, uh, it opens the parts of your brain that, that allows your imagination to work? Because God made us with music as a, as a tool or a gateway for us to see him, mm -hmm. to worship him, to believe in him. And so when you start to sing, put on your red dress mm -hmm. and step in your high heels, mm -hmm. some of that sweet perfume, it invokes some imaginations in your mind. Some image start coming in your thoughts. Those images, ladies and gentlemen, even though they can be projected on the person that you love or the person that you're with, those images <laughs> are part of what makes the love real. Mm -hmm. It is what pushes the romance. Now, when you take those images and say, um, you know, you think you're easy. Hey, girl, I want do this to you. <laughs> and hey, boy, if you're dead, what you're doing is pushing those images on a person's mind. And the music in, in, in especially our country that is, you know, messing with the minds of the young people, telling them that gun and this and money and, you know, scamming. All of them negativity there is what? If, if you're hungry again, you're going to see me nine. Mm -hmm. You know, all of those things inside certain behavioral patterns, even in the subconscious. It's, it's like you're thinking that it's not affecting you. But in, in the subconscious, and worse, music is repetitive. So you yes. hear it over and over and over and yes. again. Before, without you even trying to know the words of the song. Yes. You remember the words of the song. You, you, you know the whole song word by word. Today, may I come home from, I'm coming home from Miami today. Um, and, and I was just singing this one song where me learn. I mean, I know the words. You know, and the song was just over and over in my head. I mean, I don't know the words. I don't know what the person is saying. I don't know yeah. if it's a chant. I don't know what it is. But it was so infectious that you find mm. yourself singing. Have you ever found yourself singing it? Namba de tia macarena macarena. Henti kafain la kafina voro fena. Me no know what the man say. Mark you, it's Spanish. Mm -hmm. But I don't know Spanish. The point is it's so infectious that I am singing this song. And I'm, 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 I'm in, internalizing this song. Mm -hmm. It's giving me the energy that it was created to give. Right. And so and you we... don't know what kind of energy. Exactly. <laughs> That's why the Bible go back and say cleansing your space, spiritual songs, hymns, making melody in your heart to God, giving thanks to God always through Jesus Christ. This is what you have to know where you do. That's why I don't believe in a certain um, Christian practices of behaving like you know, have no sense, a drop and a turn over and a kick pumpkin, pop a lick and a go on. You're not supposed to get into that place. And I know I can get controversial, Enough mm -hmm. people are saying, oh, that is when you get in the spirit. Whatever I know I say, you're not supposed to lose your mind. Right. There is no prerequisite in the word of God for you to be out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Because you are given self-control. That's a part of what God wants for you. Self-control. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that these types of conversation is motivating enough for you to join us again. We're going to start to do this predominantly on a Tuesday afternoon because we're now going to cook so late again because I'm trying to watch my um, frigger. My frigger? Yeah. <laughs> my friggers, yes. My echoes, by the way. Um, we're going to take on the lower cholesterol or we're going to do that in a subsequent video? Another video. Another video. So for... for my dear sister who asked about the lower cholesterol, please stick and stay with us. We're going to definitely do um, that um, in another video. And we do have videos that are up talking about lowering your sugar, um, blood sugar, uh, blood glucose level and, and stuff like that and diabetes and stuff. So please, Naomi, please, may I beg you, we're going to do another video. Check, <laughs> no, Naomi, check, check, <laughs> check in my playlist, Naomi, for lowering your blood sugar level. That video will, I also have some, some Wolipa supplements in there and, and them, there are, there are tons of so, products on the market for lowering your blood sugar. Specifically though, Naomi, what would you like to know? Like what kind of supplements are natural foods? What do you need to know about cholesterol? Do you need us to talk about foods that can lower it or? 
how you can treat it in terms of supplements and what other whatever other means let us know we will do you know we're the research king and queen so we will research and come back with the information so once again guys we thank you so much for joining us and these are we're not gonna try to take on every argument but we're gonna take on arguments that we, we may have shared in in our private um space mm -hmm. and we think it's pertinent for our um, um viewers and so if you have any questions if you have any topic that you want us to take on please reach out to us i'm on every social as yada belly tv and you can also dm us um and the information is in the description box to this video all right so once again any last words just just to use discernment in everything and protect your eye gate and your ear gate mm -hmm. and watch your mouth mm -hmm. <laughs> it's important to understand that anything that you burn in your home mm -hmm. any any type of fragrance that you burn in your home you personally are fed with because it smells good. That's it. You just want to smell. Nothing wrong with your house smelling good. Nothing wrong with it, your house smelling like frankincense and myrrh or even sage. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with your house smelling of these things. But when you are using it to change a, 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 a energy or for, a spirit. For a spiritual result. Or, or, yeah. Then you're gone into an illegal practice that can only result in you attracting are bringing in the wrong type of spiritual elements in your space. Mm -hmm. And that's just the truth. You understand? Mm -hmm. Every time that we want to get spiritual, we must seek after this, the God who is a spirit. Jehovah God. We must seek after God. Because we can, we can again, draw out. Unless somebody come to you and say, I am a demon. You understand? Then you can apply physical means to, to attract that, to, to deal with it. But mm -hmm. <laughs> don't try to take on a spiritual thing. Remember, you know, that God says resist the devil and he will flee. And God says him, I go fight them battle there. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, meaning, meaning organized demonic forces, rulers of darkness in heavenly or high places. We're not supposed to go into them realm there especially unprotected by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to step out our physical body and try to bring in nothing into this realm without God directive because him give us the prerequisite through the word of how to do it. You see me? Yes, so, see. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much. It's Yada Belly TV. We're moving like a nuclear. And anybody test me, it must disappear. A joke. <laughs> Stick and stay, guys. We're gonna be. Yaga sing, yaga sing one song. Which song you sing? Sing where you sing? No, you are singing. Now you bring it up. No, you have the singing voice. Me don't have no singing voice. Whatever. You know I sing. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, quiet. No I'm I'm hearing the song right now in your voice. You got you got less than a minute. All right, we want to leave you with a song, and this is this is our song for the year. Break it, wait a good man. But I'm say eat good, so make sure next time we visit. Really, really, break it. Sure. Are you wearing it now? Yeah, one song we we'll claim for my song for the year. We leave it with Ono, and it's really the prayer of a, Moses. A blessing over your life and your family. Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you, Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace.
<laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with us this afternoon. We do hope that we shared something. This, this, we're not, we're not claiming to be get fit and done. We are about prayer kid can go on now. Wife, come on wow, with the first wow. <laughs> No man, Jennifer, and big up yourself. Blessings to you guys. I do hope Thank that you, you enjoyed this conversation and uh, and um, that we can continue to have conversations mm. such as this. You know, mm. get fit and done. <laughs> Mm. Blessings to each and everyone. Have y'all said mm. a great, great day. To God be mm. the glory. And mm. we'll see you in the see you. <sighs> Bye, guys. Mm. Oh. Big up. Mm.